and welcome to Datum, the reveal show live from Los Angeles. Datum is the ultimate dating show where we get millennials to step outside their digital comfort zone to see if they can find true love based on personality alone. And I'm here with our first contestant, Emma. Big round of applause Hi. for Emma. Hello. And I've got to say, girl, how are you feeling after all three dates? And, and where, where's your mind at? Because it was a crazy process. And it was. All the dates were so different and so dynamic. So I wanted to get your feedback on what dates you liked, what mm -hmm. you didn't like, and, and how it all went. Where'd your head at? You know, well, first I have to say, it was, all day, all three of them were, they were great. It was definitely out of my comfort zone to be on a date with no social media attached to it and kind of just being like personality alone, as you were saying. So it was, it, there's always that awkwardness with all three of them, but Overall, it was pretty, there were, all the conversations were going well. Um, some got a little awkward at times, but you know, you deal with it. Because let, let's go there. We like to go where it was a bit awkward, where it wasn't so good, because I understand with the first date, Aaron, mm. <laughs> you didn't look like you were too, I mean, I've got to admit, I kind of described him as got a stick up his ass and a little bit pretentious. Just, just to be real, just to be authentic, what did you think of him? Because a bit of a bit of a doozy, a yeah. bit of a five out of 10 for me, I think, unfortunately. You know, I thought, at the beginning, I was like, this is going well, this is fine, it's comfortable, first date, I obviously was the most nervous for that one, but you were right, kind of, he was trying a little too hard, which made it just unnatural. Yeah, a bit of a Debbie and, Desperado yeah, vibe, yeah, 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 yeah. no one really and likes you that. Don't want yeah. that. You want it to be like, you want to be comfortable with the person, you want the, I'm like, is this your personality, are you putting on some sort of show type of rehearse thing, which is not what I was looking for personally. No, because it's based on authenticity and exactly. then this dude comes in putting on an act. Yeah. But so. the second date went much better. I was yeah. all about um, Peyton, love Peyton. He was great. The only thing I didn't like about Peyton and our audience also didn't like about Peyton based on social media was a little sing song at the end. Do you think it was a bit too much or did it warm your heart and were you like, oh my God, he can <laughs> sing, I love him. How did that um, affect you? Uh, you know, the first second I was kind of like, it kind of took me off guard. I was like, oh, this is, you know, I'm not used to that. It's a little awkward, a little cheesy. A cheese ball, but yeah. But at the same time, I was like, you know, he put himself out there. Note to self, second date, if there were one, maybe not, but it was still a little cheesy at the same time. Yeah, so n no bonus points for the singing, unfortunately, yeah. there, but your last date, he was super fun. How did that go? Yeah. Was there anything that you didn't really like about him? Um, you know, he it, the conversation was very natural. Uh, it was a little too friend zone -y for me. Like, I was able to talk to him, but, you know, I have a lot of friends already, and he seemed like a lot of fun. Um, a little bit on, like, the bad boy type of side, which Oh, there know. we go. Well, they're about to be revealed for who they truly are, yeah. so maybe he's actually a bad boy. You never know. You're going to find out in a yeah. second. <laughs> but before you reveal who you're going to decide, mm -hmm. the audience has decided who they wish you to date. Okay. I have decided who I want you to date, and actually the audience and I are in agreement. Oh wow. We both believe, are you ready for it? Can we get a bit of a drum roll vibe? I feel like we need to do a bit of this, a drum roll vibe. Oh, wow. We believe that you should date the third dater, Brian! Oh. Woo! I know you said he was a bit of a friend zone, but how does that go with your pick? Is Brian the one that you wanted to go for, or are you thinking about another dater? Let me know. <sighs> You know, he was really nice, and I definitely felt what you and the audience were feeling, but just a little too friend zone for me, like you said, so I went with another option. Please don't tell me it's the first one. I, I can deal with the second one. <laughs> so what option did you go with? Did you go with data number one or data number two? Data number two. That's, yes. a, that's a round of applause. That's all right. I can kind of hack that. I think that's okay. Yeah. So what was the main reason that you decided to choose him? You know, it was just really comfortable with him. I felt like it was not a forced conversation. It was very natural. And that's kind of what I was looking for the most out of a date. And, you know, I got to know him without getting too personal. And I figured if it, it's if it, I'm this comfortable around him, then the second date would probably go even better. But do you know what? You like him based on personality alone, mm -hmm. but he hasn't been revealed for who he truly is. So what we're going to do now, audience, is we're going to reveal all the datas for who they truly are. And then if you decide 
who he truly is and what his life is about, that you no longer want to date him, you can actually choose another data because we have them all here live backstage. So the first data is going to be revealed, then the second data, and then the third data, and then we'll get your decision on who you want to date and if it's changed after seeing who they are in their personal life. Hi, uh, how's it going? My name is Aaron, I'm 28, uh, from Los Angeles, looking for the perfect girl. I mean, she needs to be able to party, she needs to be able to have fun, and you know what? She also needs to be able to keep up. That is the big thing. I wanna be able to find the perfect girl, and she has to have the qualities that I really want. So, listen, girl, I can take you over, we go to Musso and Frank's. I know Frank, he's my boy, he'll hook us up. All righty. Well, aren't we glad you didn't choose that one? Yes. Well, you picked up on it, girl. You <laughs> Totally. I didn't know he was that inauthentic. I thought, oh, maybe just a bit bougie. Mm, Fucking no. can't stand yeah. him. What do you think I... of him now? He's revealed. Yeah, I got that vibe. I definitely got that vibe from him. So that was my biggest, like, no. But now that I heard that, I just, like, thankfully I didn't pick oh him. Oh, my God. Hello, my name is Brian and I'm here just looking for my Juliet. I've been working really hard for the past few years. I go to law school at night, I work and, and during the day as well. And you know, back in the day, I really was, you know, that nonchalant, just, you know, hey, what's up, girl? What's up, girl? What's up? But now, you know what, I don't like doing that no more. I have a son, so I don't want him to go around looking at other girls and be like, hey, what's up? I mean, you know, you want some juice? I can't teach my son how to be a player. I want him to be a gentleman. Only bottle I want to see in your hand is a baby bottle. That's it. If we're going to have Netflix and chill, that's all we're going to do is Netflix and chill. <laughs> what do we think about that, Emma? Uh, yeah, nah, I'm, mm, I'm glad he's going to law school. I feel bad. Audience, we but, stuffed up. I'm so yeah, what, I'm bad. Because I've got to say, the kid, can you imagine? You're, you're a pretty young woman. You want to focus on your career and you've got this stupid kid there Look, yeah. they've got to look after. Yeah, I'm not look, yeah, I wasn't looking for a kid too. No, no I even prefer the first one over that, I've got to say. Like, at least, at least he's an arsehole. At least he pays. I know, I know. Yeah, that's not attractive. But let's just hope that you were actually right and that the guy that you chose, Peyton, is amazing. Yes. Let's have a look at Peyton okay. now. Hi, I'm Peyton, I'm 25 years old. I'm new to this city, I like to eat, I like to shop, I like to work out. I'm very career driven at this point. Mom always told me to be career driven, I love mom. Mom is the best. I have a lot of student loans because, well, I went to college, like everyone else. <laughs> Do you want, you know, that special lady to, you know, be there by my side, be my go-to? I need her, like, right now. <laughs> I like him. I like him even I more know. now. Me too. Because do you know what, girl? Money, he, he can make money. Once he gets his degree, yeah. he's going to be fine and that will be paid off. But kids are forever. You can't kill, can't kill off kids. You can kill off debt. <laughs> yeah, I think exactly. you've made the right decision. How are you feeling? Do you still feel like you've chosen the right guy? I definitely chose the right guy. Absolutely. Definitely. High yeah. fives to you. Yes. Audience, we stuffed up. We need to trust Emma more often. But do you know what? I think it's time that we bring Peyton out. Oh. Peyton! Woo! <laughs> now I'm looking at you guys together. Together, It's a bit of an ebony and ivory vibe. It's so oh, cute. You guys look so yeah. cute. Yeah. So tell us why you chose Peyton and tell us, Peyton, why you like Emma so much. Or even if you do like Emma, because we haven't even heard from you, <laughs> you might actually hate her. Oh. So tell me about the date and how you, how you thought it went, and then I want to know a deeper reason of why you chose this lovely man over here. Well, I mean, first she's gorgeous, so I was oh. like, yes, I didn't get, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because it's all, you know, can you find love based on personality alone? But you really do hope they don't look like an ogre. Of like course. secretly you're hoping, of course, of please, course. please, just mildly attractive, because yeah. it is it is harder. It, it is nicer to wake up in the morning with someone right. who is and pretty media, at least, pretty, always, yeah, you know, pretty. Able to see how they look, you know, but I, I didn't know what to expect. It was literally like a blind date. Yeah. But she was so easy to talk to, personality, she made me laugh. I loved the smile, I complimented that. So it was Thank it was great. you, thank yeah. you. And then what about you? Did you choose Peyton just because he was the only one left? Or? No. <laughs> no. Was it an authentic thing? Because I'm thinking maybe she just go and be like, <laughs> Well, the other two were all right. Didn't really like them, so I just choose him because he was okay. Is that is that why you chose no, him, or is no. this authentic and real? No, I thought he was the most.
most authentic and real. And it, like I said, it was so easy to talk, to laugh, to like goof around. Like usually, you, you know, people are a little uptight, awkward, yeah. and but like we were doing weird thing, you know, yeah. like goofy Very sort of weird. challenges. But we were still able to just like make fun of each other and the whole situation and have fun, which is great. Yeah, it's like we knew each other like yeah, forever. yeah, yeah. It yeah. was awesome. It was really and we just have to talk about the singing vibes because <laughs> I've got to say I was team Payton, but then you whipped out the song, and I know me and everyone on social media thought, what a bloody idiot! You've I just mean, blown yeah. it. It's a competition. I wanted to, you know. Show some. Of See, what I, I respect got, you know? that reasoning. Oh, so he says that's so cute. It's like we'll forgive you. That's okay. <laughs> that's fine. I won't do it again. I mean. <laughs> but anyway, I think I'm going to leave you two little lovebirds because oh. I think you need to go on a second date and have some fun. Yeah. yeah. But I'm so glad that we could get you together I and that know. it could be real and authentic. No, thank you so much. Yeah. And audience, tune in next time because we're going to reveal all the other daters for who they truly are. Josh is going to choose his girl oh. of his choice, Ooh. and it's going to be another live reveal. Reveal show here in Los Angeles. I'm Dan Babbick signing off for the live Datum show. It's been fantastic. And until next time, Datum. <laughs> <laughs>